Not the greatest news out of Detroit today. Levi Onsariki looks like he's going to be going on to the IR the rest of the season. We're going to dive into that and a lot of good news for the Detroit Lions before the Dallas Cowboys game next weekend. We're going to get into that right now in today's Lions Talk Live. <music> 2021 second round rookie Levi Onsarike is going to be out the rest of this season. Unfortunately, that means he's going to the IR with continued back issues. Back issues that were going to require surgery have now become official. That's going to be the path of correction for Onzerike, who's been out so far this year. He did play all 16 games in 2021, but coming out of college, he did have a, uh, some hip issues and back issues. Those issues were cleared by Detroit Lions medical staff prior to the 2021 draft. And as we all know, Brad Holmes selected Onzerike in the second round. At the time, it was considered a bit of a steal for Detroit because he had been projected as a first-round potential pick as a defensive tackle coming out of Washington. But because he sat out the 2020 season because of COVID concerns, he did fall to the early part of the second round. Now it is a future in question for Onzerike, who seems like you know he just can't catch a break. But it is what it is at this point. He's out the rest of 2022, and hopefully with corrective surgery, he can uh, continue his career in 2023. All right, well, if you haven't already, we would like to ask you here at Lions Talk Live to go ahead and consider subscribing to the channel. Perhaps we would leave some comments, your thoughts on... Uh, anything Lions related in the sections below, or if you would, maybe even leave a like. A like really helps the channel to grow, helps get the videos out there to more people to discover. So again, if you could, we'd be really be thankful. Some other good news as Coach Dan Campbell gave his Monday presser. It sounds like many of the players who had been banged up, injured, and not performing against New England are on the mend and returning to good form. A Camp Bell and his presser around noon today did comment that St. Brown, I'm around St. Brown, let me say, uh, is on the men, trending in the right direction, as is John Kaminsky, DeAndre Swift, and a plethora of other players. As Detroit Lions uh, Talk Live did talk about in videos last week, Jerry Jacobs is on the practice field and could quite possibly return to practice throughout the week and play in this weekend's contest in Dallas. He won't be alone as Josh uh, Joshua Pascal has also joined him practicing last week, uh, parts of last week and this week, and could potentially play Sunday, which would be a huge boost to Detroit Lions defensive line. Pascal, a second round pick, would add added depth and ability to get after the quarterback if fully healthy. Another person returning, as we noted in a prior video in the last week, also earlier in this one, is Jerry Jacobs. Jerry the Hitman Jacobs, if you would. Jacobs, who had a breakout performance as an undrafted rookie in 2021, uh, late in the season, tore his ACL, and has been on the men for nearly, some, uh, nearly a year at this point. It's hopeful that he'll be able to come in and give at least some depth to the Detroit Lions secondary, who that has been lit up throughout much of this season. If they could get him on the field along with a few other key parts, perhaps the Detroit Lions defense can return to a little bit of form that they had in 2021 where they more often than not kept the team in games while the offense was figuring itself out. During Monday's presser, Campbell did promise further developments and changes to the Detroit Lions defense. We saw some of those uh, defensive adjustments happening against New England. And to be fair, uh, it may have been Detroit's best defensive performance of the season. Unfortunately for the defense, a number of injuries throughout that game, as I'm sure anybody who was watching noticed, uh, the five injured Lions secondary players throughout the Patriots game left them in a position where they just really had no bodies left on the field for those uh, corners and safety positions. At any rate, though, if the team can continue to trend, get healthy, and find its identity on D, perhaps along with continued involvement of the offense, Detroit Lions may actually start improving. While that being said, at the start of 
the 2022 season. Lions face the fourth easiest schedule in all the NFL. But as we've watched the season develop, they are now facing one of the league's toughest schedules. Pro Football Focus uh, rates the Detroit Lions' remaining schedule as perhaps the third most challenging in all the NFL. So finding additional wins to hit our projection of six on the year is going to become incredibly difficult. With that being said, we are still going to hold to our six-win projection for the Detroit Lions this year. We won't call out yet what games we thought they'd win, but I would say this. We do believe that they're going to be able to take both games against the Chicago Bears and then find a few other wins here and there to still achieve that six-win total. If not, the Detroit Lions may indeed be in line for a top three to top four, maybe even the number one overall pick in the 2023 draft. Added with that, the lack of success for the Los Angeles Rams, Detroit could be in a very promising position for the draft. All right, well, that's going to do it for today, Monday's version of Lions Talk Live. We know where it's going to come out a little late today, but unfortunately, we had some other pressing uh, topics to address today, and we had a little bit of life events as well. So with that being all said, hope you all had a great weekend, an enjoyable Monday, and we'll see you tomorrow on Lions Talk Live. <music>